start. You gotta remove the three Phillips screws that are below the door. Two, three. And there's a push pin on the side you want to push out. Then there's a cap back here you pop off. It's a screw Phillips behind there. And then I believe that pops up too. We'll check in a minute. Okay, all three of the Phillips screws are pulled out below the door. I pushed in that little push pin. Now we're getting ready to pop this off. Where the door handle is, pull the door handle back. And a little difficult with the camera. Get your finger behind that plastic and just pop it out. Just pop it out. Just little plastic clips. And then there's a Phillips screw behind there. You gotta get. Okay, we've removed the screw in there behind there. Pulled the plastic cap off. Remove that one screw in there. One more screw up here. Just gently take a knife or a flat screwdriver and be easy. And just barely work it under, and this is just a little plastic piece. It just pops right up easily. And then there's your last screw. Now that we removed all the screws, one, two, three, four, five, and then push pin is six. Supposedly you just pull on the door and pop it loose. I'm reaching under here at the corner. I think popping loose very easy. Let me try. Okay, I had to lift, pull hard. Once you get all the screws out here, and I put my other hand here, two hands. And I was able to pull, and you hear clips pop, they pop free. You see it pop free right there, and then you just work it around until you get all the way around to where it's undone. It'll definitely pop. You hear that loud pop? You gotta put some force into it, don't be scared, just make sure all the screws are out. And work it all the way around. You'll pull your door off, and there should be wire plugged down here for the other old the OEM puddle light under there. You'll unhook that connector. That push pin connector area, I had to yank the crap out of it. And then it shot the little push pin out, which is fine. The washer somewhere, I gotta find the washer, it blew out. Uh, but once we put it back in, this just pops in. So, but you do have to put some force, kind of scary force, but you yank it and it'll pop it out. And this should fly out. Okay, so you have to unplug the connectors you can unplug. So you just reach in and unplug it. There was one, and there was number two, a little tiny one. It went right here. There's a little plug that goes right there. So two so far, I've taken out the white one and the black one, or the, I'm sorry, this little black one right here. Now, this is the puddle light, light and you can see there's your stock one this is what we're going to splice into the two wires i use a quick quick connect splice you just set the wires next to each other and crimp them together and it quick connects it um, so i'll get you the colors uh, this is what we unplug right here then we're going to splice our old one in here and somewhere in 12 or so inches back there's a void here basically so we should be able to drill Right through there, mount our light, run the plug and splice it into here, secure it, zip tie or something, then it should be good. So there's little tabs on here. You can pull this up and, and loosen the tabs and your bulbs under there. That shit's hot as hell, so I'm taking the bulb out. There's no need for it anyways because I'm going to have my other puddle lights on there. So I'm just going to pop the bulb. 
see where I'm going to splice into. The yellow is your ground. And this gray, orange is your hot. So yellow is your ground. The other one's your hot. I just tested. Ground is definitely yellow. Just kind of stuck the wires at the end of that plug. Took that black thing off. You can see it's lighting up. Sort of working. They're kind of cool. So it's gonna be cool shining on the ground once it gets on the ground. It's obviously dark right now, but or light out, but it'll look cool once it gets on the ground. It's dark. I'll show you once it's done. But yeah, pretty cool. Mark my holes. Like I say, if you're looking this way and you got this setting on your lap or whatever, there's the puddle light, there's the cord, you know, we're going to splice into. So we're going to probably put it mid, sort of midway, but it'd be the second screw hole. So, you know, here's where your speaker's at. There's the first hole. There's your puddle light. And there's a second one. So what I'm going to do is go on the op opposite side, make my center mark to where I'm centered right just to the side of that screw so I'll be centered right there and I'm going to get the supplied drill bit hole saw drill through there and we should be able to mount it you take the little screw off the end of the puddle light separate it slide the end through then you put tighten the nut on it and then we're going to wire it into here should be done then we'll tuck it all and go from there okay we're getting ready to drill our hole there's your included supplied drill bit. You only need to order one kit of them. There comes with two lights, even though on the website it says quantity one. It's one box, but it actually comes with two of the lights. I bought two boxes and got four lights, which is good. I'll put it under my hood somewhere, but. So anyways, got the whole saw, it's included. It's regular drill bit size. I'm gonna use some blue tape so I can mark the bottom of the door. Again, here's your puddle light. Here's that second screw. And we know we had a void all along here, so basically I'm going to drill centered. I'm going to check it and mark it with tape and drill a centered hole right there and should be in business. Okay, flip my pan over like I said, my door. I put some carpet down something. I just didn't want my top of it getting scuffed up from the concrete. Um, so I just put the tape there. Like I said, there's your thing. Kind of, kind of centering the doors for the most part. Um, so you put your hand behind here and you can feel it's all void under here. Um, so I just kind of centered the X, kept it in line, and that's where I'm going to drill. So I just punched through. you got to press hard until it blows through. Uh, you may have to undo your chuck to get this out. Yeah, so drilled a decent hole. Good to go. Turn up the little burrs on there. So don't hold nothing back. Okay, perfect. Okay, holes drilled. Like I said. Here's your puddle light when you flip the door upside down. I took the light bulb out of that. Um, second screw hole just went to there, centered it. You'll see there's a perfectly good void down there. Fingers on the other side of it. So that's kind of where we're putting it. Then we're going to wire it in and we're going to give it a go. Okay, so here's one of your puddle lights. Again, when you buy these, it says quantity of one on the website, but that means one box. It doesn't say anywhere it comes with two as far as I found. Hopefully they correct that because I bought two of them. It's only 25 bucks for two of them, so it's not a big deal. I got two extras for under the hood or maybe under there. Who knows? Somewhere cool we'll rig it up later. 
Uh, so anyways, uh, undo this little set screw, screw this top off, then we're going to run it underneath, screw the whole head bolt on it. We'll adjust a little later once we get it set where we want, you know, so you make sure it's projected correctly on the, on the floor. Okay, took the set screw off, screws downwards, so once you unscrew it, it slides down across the wire. So ran the wire through, let's pull that through. That screw. All right, need a cameraman. So that drops down in there. Wire goes over there. Like I say, we'll twist it later and set where we want it to set. Make sure we're 100% good. Okay, so that's nice and flush. That sits in there good. It's nice. Hopefully this clearance, we just don't <coughs> trash it when we shut the door. No, it should be clearance. Okay, now we're gonna take that other thing we dropped, the set screw one. And we're going to come back underneath, run it around the wire, run it up there, tighten it up a little bit, and then we'll set the set screw um, and check it before we uh, put it all back together. We'll make sure we got it positioned right, because I think you can only adjust it. Eh, you may be able to twist it from the other side. We'll see. Just may have to pre-adjust it, maybe kind of dummy set it up on the door and check where it's positioned and see if you can hand adjust it. If not, I'll let you know if I can adjust it just from here by twisting it too maybe possibly okay so yes you have to hang your door and see where the light shines first you can't adjust it afterwards because you have to tighten down all the set screws all the stuff underneath obviously um, and you can't get access to it once you put it back on so yes just kind of hang your door up on the edge is what I did I just hung it up back there put it back through the thing real quick and now we're gonna plug it in both wires are kind of hanging around here so I'm just gonna touch the two see how it looks and if that's it I'll reach under there and set it and we should be good let's try it out to test the power like I said once we hang it we're gonna see where the lights at again on mine the yellow oh, it's hard to see anyways it's yellow you'll see it and then there's an orange one with a gray line the yellow one is your ground the smaller one is your positive so the yellow one's actually fatter gauge wire and the positive is a thinner wire probably hard to see but uh, so yellow ground and like I said once you pull this plug out you move that little black retainer clip that held the ghost light in put a light you can just stick your two plug wires in there you know make sure they line up yellow being positive or I'm sorry yellow being negative and you're good to go so anyways I plugged it in you do have to hit your AC on, your power button, to kick the lights back on because your door's been in, so it shut itself off. So I lined it up. I left it a little loose, but you know, kind of tight, but where I can just twist it with my hand, and you, you, it'll project on the ground. It's hard to hold the camera and show you, but it projected on the ground, so I just twisted it so it lined up perfectly with the parallel with my door, and it looks awesome. I'll post some more pics here in a minute. Okay, we're getting ready to splice them in, so I bought these little quick connector splices uh, I'm sure you guys know what they are you can put your one wire through there which your little short stub wire that's on the light goes in there and then the one that's fully see-through is the one that you're gonna splice into your actual puddle light cord so what I did is I took the puddle light cord exposed a little down here I tried messing with this down here there's little pins inside there to try to release those two prongs and pull them out and like kind of factory wired in a little bit but I didn't have any success messing with that you have to have a real tiny screwdriver to go inside there to release those pins uh, so anyways just pull the wire back you use those quick connects you put the one through the through yellow again being your ground so do the one you can see through see all the way through that's the one that goes in there and just tuck your other wire in it's a little difficult to get them all held right till you get it but once you crunch it down uh, it'll splice into both wires, so it works nicely. I've used them before. I to get the strippers out. Always good to have strippers around. <laughs> um, these wires that are on the little puddle light are just barely nipped. So we want a little longer. I'd say quarter inch or something like that so we can put them in the quick connect clips. I had to change up a little bit those little quick connect clips I don't know if they make them too much smaller but they work for the main wire but that 
wire off of this light is just so tiny. So what I did, overcome over dap, took a little snip out of the center with my wire cutters and kind of just you know went around it and just spread it a little bit. Same thing down here. So I'm just going to tie the wires directly in there. I guess you could snip and put a different connection on there. Um, just tie them in there and I'm going to tape them really well uh, with electrical tape and that should be that. Okay, so like I said, I spliced them in, taped each one individual, then double taped around it. It's perfect. I'll uh, tuck it back behind here. Uh, like I said, make sure you check your lights a couple times before you go taping them up, which is that's what I did. Hit the power button. She's working. So. Oh, yeah. All right, let's uh, put it all back together. Plug all the wires in, put all the screws in, check all my retainer clips, put all my clips in, pins, and uh, should be good to go. Okay, I'm gonna plug that, the plug it went to the OEM fog light, little plastic clip piece we took off of the Behind the light, I'm gonna go ahead and put that back on, mount that back in there. Splice them together, get a better hold. The gator clip things, the quick connect, is just too tiny of a wire coming from the little light. So I had to splice into the two. I'm gonna tuck it behind, tape it up, and twist them all together. Working good though. All right, well, <clears throat> still got the one garage light on, but uh, We'll just see what they look like, even without it pitch black. Oh yeah, that looks nasty. Sorry, the camera doesn't show how clear it is. It looks very clear in person. Just a crappy camera. Okay. Let's see what it looks like from the outside. Yeah, it's it's pretty sick, guys. 